I swear to God, if my phone dies again, I is going out the window. Or I'm probably just going to have to send it to Psyche YT, and he's going to smash it to pieces. Which, that would actually be much more satisfying than using it. So I'm just going to quickly type the password in, and I'll get back. Okay. Signing into the, uh... The big compact. Which don't do nothing. Because it's in the pile of things to be fixed. And now the computer is very critically low, and I'm not probably not going to bother running XP on it. There we go, you saw... You saw um, Ubuntu, so now I'm going to just run XP on it. Um, yeah, Windows XP. Although it's not really Windows, it's Tiny XP. I've tried everything. I've tried USB Wi Fi adapters, and it, they don't work either. It doesn't have a PCM CIA slot, so I can't use them. It's, it's horrible to work with. So. If you want to use the internet with this computer, forget it. Found new hardware wizard, screw you. Um, yeah, nothing else. Aside from I've reinstalled the whole operating system again. Ah, uh, yeah, I just gave it this cool, um, beast theme. What was that? I don't know. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the beast theme with the NCR wallpaper. He's gonna turn it off now. Ah, uh, yeah, nothing really well good with that computer at all. In fact, you could say it's the worst computer I own. So I'm just gonna let it shut down and uh, move on to something better. This is gonna be triple booted, by the way, but I just haven't got around to getting the this guy so image to work. It's hopefully gonna have Linspire, Ubuntu, and Windows XP on here. Let's see if I can dedicate 20 gigabytes because of this. I think that's 320, so I've dedicated. I can dedicate 100 gigs to Windows and 100 gigs to Ubuntu. There's still another 100 gigs. There's still 120 gigabytes. So I can dedicate 100 to Linspire, and then maybe I could put like. I don't know, React OS or something, or, I don't know, Hannah Montana Linux, if I'm retarded enough to do so. I don't know. I'll move on, though, to another computer on the desk. Um, it works. Hopefully. Nah. None of the computers that, uh, well, most of the computers up there now don't work properly. Okay, uh, this is my RM GT8000, um, which is based off a Samsung GT8000. Now, this, I was watching another YouTuber's videos recently, I think it was A Life of an English Man, and he had one of these machines from a hall of computers, and he struggled to open it up. Now, if you do still have this computer, this is for you, um, this is how, you, well, how I open it, so you get your fingers under this, you pull it out, ever so slightly, it, it has a little bit of give, pull it out slightly, and then just literally lift it up like that. That's, that's, that's my method. If you're finding it too difficult to open it up, this is how you do it. So, Boot the old girl up. <clears throat> a lot has changed since I last recorded this machine. Um, number one is... Um, not a lot. Well, cosmetically. It's got worse cosmetically because it's got that horrible rubbery... Which is deteriorating and gone very sticky on this side. Uh, CMOS battery dies. That's another... Not so nice change. But one thing that has changed is I have replaced the entire operating system. <laughs> yeah, I formatted the hard drive and put 2000 on here. Because I figured maybe the drivers for this computer might be more universal and more suited towards a 
NTFS based operating system or an 32 LS I, I don't know how you connect I think Windows 9, 9X and Windows 2000 is a major jump up from 9X because it's more stable and you can run more programs and stuff and it's usually directly compatible with most XP drivers uh, no, sadly, I haven't got a good a graphics driver for it, because that is sadly something I'm struggling with. If I can find one that works, hooray, I'm keeping 2000 on here, but if I can't, I'm reverting back to 98 and attempting everything again. So let me just uh, type in my password and we'll get going. One thing you got to notice is uh, something else I've changed. One of the drivers I can't install, sadly, but that doesn't mean the other driver. Yes, that is right, people. I have not, I have not scammed you in any way. No other computer is playing that sound in this room. Yep, that sound natively came from the two speakers in this computer. I have got and sussed the audio driver, and for confirmation, here is the soundbar. That's how that's how I know it works. Graphics driver, on the other hand, it is a S3 Savage NX IX. If anyone can help me find a Windows 2000 compliant driver, which is generic and or suited towards Samsung or RM, comment down below with the link to the download because I need it. And don't do any of the driver ones that just give you the driver booster installation or something stupid like that because they do not work with 2000. They're uh, suited to XP and above. The ones that say that are for 2000 do not work. Do not use them. Um, aside from that, I think as we've got a whole new OS, we might as well want to look at the computer's properties. That's what we have. That's what we have. Oh, by the way, this is not a legitimate Windows 2000 disk I used. I actually created it from an ISO image and a product key for the ISO. Thanks to winworldpc.com for, for helping me with that. It's pretty cool. Oh, I realise I already have a 2000 disc already, with the product key, so. Yeah, that disc might just go to a family member. Oh no, family members don't use that old version of Windows. I'll have it as a backup, just in case. You never have too many copies of Windows. Let me just shut that one down. Yes, now it does that. Don't ask me why, it just does. So I'm just gonna uh, hold the power button until it comes up, until it goes off. So there's the beautiful RM GT8000, and I will move on to something that requires the television. Yes, another computer. Okay, so I got this computer set up, which is a new one. Out of the collection, it is also a screenless Chromebook. This is a Lenovo N42, so it's bigger than some computers. Now, this thing might beep, it'll scare me, and it'll probably scare you lot as well. So, uh, let's skip ahead maybe a few minutes if you don't want to hear that. Or I might just be on the wrong input, or the computer's not working. Yep, there we go. Jesus, that scares me. I've got to somehow fix that. Because I'm sick to the back teeth of that. Chromebook shouldn't even be. I mean, they don't even have a BIOS for Pete's sake. Yes, I am on the right bloody input. Thank God for that. Oh, ah, there we go. There's the... Uh, the old, um, thing. So, that's one of my Chromebooks. Uh, aside from that, nothing really else. Just a standard Chromebook with the same wallpaper as all my previous machines. Well, 
it done. And I'll move on to another machine that hopefully doesn't scare the living daylights out of me. This is a new computer, which you probably haven't seen before. So this was given to me as a leaving gift for when I left. Uh, this is Annabelle. It's a Dell Inspiron 6400, which is did work when I was first given it. Then the hinges broke and the backlight failed, so I just removed the screen entirely. I'm currently sorting the screen out. Pure part still works fine though. So we'll just boot that up. Now this computer I've never actually managed to get a good video of because the last time I attempted to film one of these I didn't have all the computers on me and on top of that I am um, my phone kept dying halfway through so I gave up. But, I come back, and it's doing its job, so, yeah. Now it does have Wi-Fi, it's just, obviously as the screen isn't connected, it won't connect to anything. This has really nice stereo speakers. This is a Dell multimedia computer. And this computer has obviously not been wiped, so it's still got loads of bits and bobs on it. But I obviously cannot be bothered to change much, so I'm just not going to point the camera too much. Now, oddly enough, the username is Pookie, which is the baby name I kept was kept being called when I was younger. Which is quite, which is quite weird. And quite... Ironic, the fact that it's now mine. <laughs> Let me just open up the system specs. Fingers crossed we don't get too much information. I think I didn't click that hard enough. Oddly enough, this uh, computer has had many a problem. Um. So when I got there, it was just very bad, very bad condition all round. It's full of pet hair, keyboard wise. It looks like it had cokes built on it at one point, which is probably why the inverter died. Um, yeah, one of the capacitors on the inverter exploded, so that's probably why the inverter died. I got a new inverter, which turns out it's the wrong one. It works, but it's the wrong one, so obviously you're gonna have. To... I kept the old inverter, thankfully, so I can get the part number. And get one that actually works. Um, side no aside from that, then I tried putting the screen back together with all the bits on, and uh, hinges basically exploded. The bit that attaches to the back panel of the monitor snapped off. And uh, oh no, I'm trying to think. That, oh, okay. Um, I'm just gonna cover up this number thing here. Yeah, this is system info. Just quickly alt F4 that. I presume that's alt. There's no alt? No, no, I'll just use alt GR then. Forget that, I'll just use the X button then. Okay, no, no, I've had enough of this, I'm just going to sh shut it down before too much happens. It has Office 2003 installed on it. It's kind of weird. Didn't expect that. Yeah, it also has Dell Studio Home Mode if you press that home button. It just starts up differently. It just gives it a different BIOS screen, to be honest. I 
I also think the inverter I got was slightly faulty because it's very dim. And no, that's not because the brightness on the screen is set really dim. So that's Annabelle. I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the screen. As soon as I obviously delve into the cupboard. So Annabelle can sit back over here on the leaning tower of laptops. That should be a landmark. Yeah, that's the screen. I put it back together as best as I could, but it's still very bad condition. So let's get the... Oh, good grief. Alright. It's come to say hello. But not really the time for that. Alright, ain't nobody got time for that, so... I'll come back with another computer on the desk again. As soon as I've tidied up. This is the world's worst condition MacBook Pro. Its bottom's falling off. It's got a cracked trackpad. It's graffitied all over the back. GoPro stickers and stuff. I kind of like the GoPro stickers, so the screen I'm not actually going to say is a bad point. Keyboard's faulty, there's no battery, and the hard drive doesn't have an operating system you'd expect to be running on a Mac. And no, it's not Linux. Yeah, the thing about this is you've got to keep your finger on it, on the power button as soon as the screen goes black, so... I can't do anything, so if I get any itches, I can't scratch them. <laughs> it's got something on it. Yeah, this computer is the same one, the one in that one came from. The hard drive, anyways. Hard drive was... Just random from my father. He just found a random one. He said, bung it in here. I did. Okay, take the finger off the button. And... Yes, it runs Windows 10. And uh, I'll be honest, I didn't really expect this computer would live, but it is now. It's probably going to be too expensive to bring it back to fully working condition, so at the moment I'm just using it as parts. This metal cupboard's probably going to be taken off and well, used for its screws pretty much because one of my Macs needs screws so I'll just take all the screws off the one. At the moment it works. I refuse to say it works properly but it kind of works. It's really quiet as well. I don't know if that's a, a strong point or other with the computer. Not coming off, whatever that is. Yeah, this computer's in bad shape in many ways. In fact, I uh Wow, it doesn't even, it doesn't even work half the time. It's a sort of functioning Windows ten machine. But to be honest it just needs parting out. I just can't deal with it anymore. It's just too stressful. I don't know, maybe someday I'll probably win the lottery or something and I'll say, oh, you know, go fix it up. Because it needs a new trackpad, new battery, a new keyboard, and a new bottom cover. That's it. Not much has really happened along the side of these, but. Oh well. 
I don't think you can connect it to the internet either. Does, does the Wi Fi on this work? It's trying. I'll give it that. No, it doesn't. I think the Wi Fi is knackered in this as well, then. I guess I'll just shut it down then. There's nothing else I can do with it anyways. I'm getting sick of this, I'm just going to pause and come back with whatever I have left. I almost forgot about uh, this little guy. He's a uh, Asus EPC900. My battery is completely dead, but thankfully I'm down but not out because I have one that's a spare. Here it is. So. May I just boot it up? Yeah, this one actually runs Android. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But it works. Or I've clearly ruined the startup animation in one way or another because um, it doesn't display anymore. No internet connection. Oh no, it's connected. Yep, there it is, there's the old uh, desktop, as we call it. And why not risking any sort of too much with it, so I'm just going <laughs> to shut it immediately down. I can find the settings. There is no settings. And that's just a Google search. <laughs> oh, the power button acts as a lock button. That's really helpful. Oh, there's settings. Thank God for that. And... Annoyingly, power off is at the very bottom. Power off. Would you like to shut down? Uh, yes. I wouldn't have pressed the button for any other reason. Oh, crash the app. Yes. Would you like to shut down? Obviously. Yeah, Android is really not the best operating system for one of these, but uh, uh, it's the best of what I have. So, uh, well, if anyone has any operating system recommendations for this computer, then 
comment down below, I guess, with what operating system you'd like me to run on it next. Uh, so I'll just set that aside and fish another computer out of the pile. Bringing back to our Samsung fast booting computer. <coughs> This is the NC10 Plus, and it still works. Still works. Damn it. Let's try it again. Looks more like it. The Samsung NC10 Plus, again, as I've described in previous many videos ago, is a laptop previously used by my great grandfather. Not my great grandfather, my great 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 grandfather. And he, uh, didn't really like it. Well, he used it because his Fujitsu was having issues, which I fixed, and then broke. <laughs> In fact, most of his computers actually had problems, that's why. For some reason, he left them to me. I mean, this wasn't in his will or anything, he just left it to me. <laughs> Just before he went to go to the care home, he says, Oh, all my computers are yours, Luke. I know you like your computers, you can have them. I'm like, thanks. I only kept two. This and the Fujitsu. Fujitsu broke. I still have all the pieces to it, except the motherboard and the processor and the heatsink and all the, everything else attached to it. I took the RAM off and all the expansion cards. But I broke the motherboard. Hooray. So, that's effed. Um, hopefully gonna get a computer board soon for it. It'll take a while. But there you go, there's it running. The um NT ten plus is awfully slow. Um well it's shutting down mainly. It takes longer to shut down than to start up. Some of these are complete lies. Uh, lightweight, this thing weighs quite a bit. SRS True Sound, sounds awful. International Warranty, no more. Energy Star Compliant, possibly. And DLNA Certified, I don't know what that even means. Atom, horrible. Windows 7 Stars are horrible. So this computer really is just dead. It's dead weight to anybody who uses it. I've already shown the specs of this, and I'm never again doing it, so. If you want the specs to it, go watch the previous video I shot of it. So I'm just gonna come back with a, well, another system. On the cooling pan? No, I'm not actually. Connect it to the television. That's what I'm going to do. Yep, and already I have made a complete and total mess of everything. Maybe you could realize that. Maybe you could realize why? What have I done? I've just possibly broken something else again. I clearly didn't pause it. This is the RM M5200N, also known as the Asus M5200N. Now the reason I haven't set up is because I like to see that nice BIOS start screen. Fingers crossed if it actually shows up. There we go. 
start up in Windows XP. Um, this is, of course, a reinstalled version because I. Well, the old one had a password on it, so I couldn't really do much with it. And there's the screen. I forced the output through VGA because, well, for some reason, obviously, it can't display on display. And also, can't really display on this TV very well either, hence the big black bar. Yeah. Audio wise, the sound's quite bad. I think it, there is one bonus. It actually has a CD drive. But I found a display for it, so that probably will soon be no more. If you can shut it down, that'd be helpful. And I think that's it, computer-wise. So, uh, I guess, um, maybe I'm just looking, no, oh, something else. Well, I guess thank you all for watching this amazing three-part, yes, thank you very much, phone, three-part video of every single laptop I own. This is the collection update if any major updates come i'll do individual videos about it uh, like if i fix that or that or that or fix any of the ones that don't work then i'll stick that down aside from that thank you all for watching and please leave a comment if you have one